Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Acer Switch Alpha 12, which is a two-in-one tablet with a detachable keyboard, ships with Windows 10 software, but people wanted to know, can you run other operating systems? And the answer is, yep, you can. So I'm gonna show you how to boot Linux Mint 18. The device has two USB ports here, USB 3.0 and 3.1 Type-C connector. Everything works well out of the box with Linux Mint, I found, except for the wireless card. It might be possible to change some settings and get it to work, but because I needed a external Wi-Fi adapter to sort of get it to work easily, I need two USB ports and I don't happen to have the right adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a hub here. The operating system is loaded on this flash drive and then that's a Wi-Fi adapter. So let's go ahead and plug you in and press and hold the power button to turn on the device. Once the screen comes alive, we're gonna sort of hammer the F12 key here for a second. And that should get us to the boot options menu. Now F2 would get you into the sort of BIOS or UEFI settings, and that would allow you to uh, change the boot order. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap option two for Linux, and I'm gonna say start Linux Mint 18. Now the tablet has a 12 inch 2160 by 1440 pixel display. This particular model has eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and sells for about $800 as a Costco exclusive model that comes with the digital pen and the keyboard. Uh, prices start at about $599 for a model with a Core i3 processor, four gigs of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, they all come with a keyboard, the pen is optional. So, Wi-Fi detected because we have that external one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect. Now, for some reason it notices my 2.4G network, but not my 5G. So I'm going to set up a network here. And then while that's connecting, I'm gonna point out kind of the biggest downside here, which is that 2160 by 1440 pixel display is really sharp. So in Windows and, and some other operating systems, graphics might scale properly, but in, in this particular one, so we're gonna brighten the screen a little bit. In this particular view, you can see that everything is really pretty tiny. So compared to my finger, uh, these are all pretty small touch points. So it's kind of nice Okay, so they're not connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the slower network. Uh, it's nice to have this pen option. Now you can change the screen resolution if you really want to. Or you can find applications that just work well in high resolution, high uh, DPI displays. I'm going to show you uh, sort of another example here. Let's go ahead and open up GIMP, which is an application that we looked at in Windows. You can see it loads much more quickly, I think, in this version in, uh, in Linux. But again, we've got really tiny touch points here. At the risk of losing focus, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and you can see how big my finger is compared with each of the things that I might want to tap. So again, it's nice to be able to use the pen. And out of the box, the pen works just fine. It, uh, it supports hover, it supports everything. Um, and actually, something else I guess I should show you in GIMP is that we can create a new... Let's do some drawing. So drawing does work. Uh, I'm not sure that pressure sensitivity works, but uh, I'm not really an expert on any of this, as you can probably tell by my excellent drawing abilities. But the stylus does work. Internet also works, but again, this is using an external Wi-Fi adapter.
that's where I'm going to work on the computer. And this is the Acer Switch Alpha 12, which from this angle looks kind of like a laptop computer, and it kind of is. So, audio works, video works. Uh, for the most part, Linux Mint just works out of the box. So, that's a quick look at the Acer Switch Alpha 12 running Linux Mint 18. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can find more details about this 2-in-1 laptop tablet device uh, by checking out the full review of the Windows software running on it at uh, YouTube or at Lilliputing.com. 